Hey guys, welcome to my another Rattle 950 video. Today I'm going to tear down these two radios to show you what is the difference between the main boards of these two radios. The radio on the left side is the older model of the Rattle RT950, which has been made in August 2025. The radio on the right side is the RT950 Pro, which works also on the single sideband and HF. And this one has been made in mid of September 2025. So that means regarding this uh, recent statement of the Rattle company that this radio should be already fixed for long waves and middle waves. But as you may be know from my older videos this my rattle 950 pro doesn't work much on long waves and middle waves but extremely good on short waves okay so let me open those radios and show you the difference maybe in case you have one uh, 950 and one 950 pro and if you break the screen or something else maybe you will decide to uh, to swap the main boards because maybe you will still uh, want to use the uh, pro version if it's possible to do something like this so let me show you let's go We need to remove these two knobs and unscrew this nut. I'm going to use the tweezers for it. All right, next there are actually two hidden screws under the label and one hidden screw is under the front label. And here is the screw. And the label on the back is hiding actually two screws. Most likely you will damage also the label, so just be careful as, as you can, or as much as you can. And now it's time to remove this hat or uh, cap, I would say, or the ring, which is uh, over the top of the radio. You see, and here we can find two another hidden screws, but these are hex screws. For these screws, I'm using standard Phillips screwdriver PH1, and I'm going to swap the bit for number T8H. As you can see that these screws are pretty long. You need to remove also these two nuts on the tuning knob and the volume knob. And rest is very simple. So you can see how I can open it. You see? This is how you can open the radio out from the body. Actually, you need to be very careful uh, because there are flexible cables, as you can see, and uh, you don't damage something. So first of all, we need to remove 
this cable and also these flex cables need to release the locks on the connectors and also here and here you can see the GPS antenna also solder it to the board and also here is another connection this is uh, gonna be a uh, audio socket all right and here we have actually uh, the answer uh, on the question if is possible to swap the PC boards between uh, the Rattle RT950 Pro and Rattle RT without Pro. And the answer is clear. It's not possible actually to replace the PCB because as you can see the hardware, you can see this flex cable connector and also this flex cable connector. It's completely different. You see also the number of the pins on one flex and on the other one. You can see that how different is it. So this is completely different printed board and uh, in here. So this is the one problem. Next is this microphone. The microphone is in 950 connected straight to the PC board of this radio. Here is the place for it. But it is missing on 950 Pro because here you can find connection from the mic to the PC board over here and I think the audio is managed here by this printed board and uh, transferred through this different flexi cable to the 950 Pro board over here. Of course the speaker is the same but um, also the holes are the same. All right, so let me do a uh, brief or quick comparison between two PC boards, 950 and 950 Pro, side by side, and you will see what is different. So we have here side by side the RT950 Pro PC board and 950 and also the front panel of the uh, radio of the 950 Pro and front panel of the 950 no Pro. So you can see the difference. This cable from the audio connector is going to this PC board. But here, this connector is connected straight to this connector on the PC, on the main board actually. So this is difference. Also, the pinout or the number of the pins on this connector is different and also the type of this connector is different. Okay, so you can't swap these two radios. Also, the mic is connected straight to the PC, uh, PC board of this front panel. 
and uh, here you need to solder this mic to the PC board directly here. Connector from the display is maybe the same. Yeah, it seems so. It's the same. The cable from the GPS antenna is different. You see that in 950 Pro is longer and the cable from 950 is shorter. So the GPS in 950 Pro is connected here on the bottom of the PC board and in 950 it's connected somewhere here right on the top of the radio. So that's the difference about the uh, front panel of the radio. Okay, next is the uh, main board of the radio. So, as first you may notice that the 950 Pro uses this mechanical relay and this is 950, the GPS module, I think so. And this is also the reason why is the GPS antenna connected to here. Next, you can see also this um, connector for audio, different the size because of the different uh, cables. You see that connector for mic can be connected here, but it's not in use as it is already connected on the front PC board. Here is the mic connected. You might see a little difference in this cooling plate on the PC board and also some other components are different. The upper is 950 Pro, the lower one is 950. The Bluetooth module is there, it's the same I think. And yeah, the main difference is the receiver, HF receiver chip. This is the SI4732 receiver chip, which is used in the new RT950 Pro. And this is different, 1088 I think, yeah, it's different. So this is used instead of the SI4732 and maybe this is the reason why is this shortwave receiver not working. It's actually very deaf on short waves, middle waves and long waves. So I don't know why I, I tested it on long waves, middle waves and it's not working. But this one is working very good on short waves. Another thing is that my uh, PC board is the second version. Uh, you may notice that some of uh, the Rattles RT950 Pros were actually very deaf on uh, long waves and middle waves. And uh, Rattle makes statement that uh, all radios, this is the Pro chassis, all radios made before second half of September 2025 were optimized more for short waves and therefore they are pretty deaf on middle wave and long waves but this one as you can see on the label is mid of September 2025 and if you look closer to the PC board around the SI4732 you may notice that here should be a coil and here should be a little capacitor. And this is the zero ohm resistor. And if you have the PC board where is missing or where are missing these two components, you definitely have a second version or the new version which should work even on middle waves and long waves. This is 
an official statement of Rattel. But if you don't use much the long waves and middle waves, they recommend to stay on the older version because the older version should be better optimized for short waves. So here we can see the front side or, or the back side, as you wish, of these two radios. So this is very clear. The right side is the RT950 Pro and the left side is the RT950. So we can see this big filter over here, which is, I suppose, for 10 meters or CB band. And this filter is missing here. We can see maybe some pass band filter or, or, or a low pass filter. I don't know. This is maybe for receiver. But this is a real filter here, guys. This is nice, co nice coils. So, if you would like to make modification of your old 950 Pro, there are needed to replace some of these passive components. So, it seems that mine is already modified. Here are the final transistors and uh, BHF, UHF path. Two backends, same on 950. You can see that here is missing some kind of IC. Here we can see something else. And here we can see a CPU. By the way, I really like the videos from uh, Electro Banana YouTube channel. I will put the link down in the video description. And he very well overviewed all these electronics on these uh, boards. So this is the board of the 950, not the Pro. And you can see the CPU which has been used in this radio, 8032F. 403A VGT7. Electro Banana, thank you for your information. You said that it's a very powerful, it's a very powerful uh, CPU which makes this radio pretty uh, well prepared for future, maybe uh, custom firmware. It would be very nice. So we don't see what kind of it, of the CPU is used here on 950 Pro, but I suppose it's going to be the same. You see that uh, the GPS module is actually on the back side of the 950 Pro, as we have here connector for this longer cable to the GPS antenna. So that's the reason. All right. One very interesting thing is this. A little adapter and um, all the good Baofeng external mic or even a Quan Cheng external mic will perfectly work uh, with your uh, radio. So open these sockets here and uh, just uh, put this here and you are ready to work with your external mic. Okay, so thank you very much guys for watching this uh, video. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions and uh, hope uh, you enjoyed. So 7.3 and hope to see you next time.